Hi everyone, I'm here with my very first design team project for Art Neko Stamps. Art Neko Stamps are deeply etched red rubber stamps and they are superb quality stamps. They are great quality. And who doesn't like a good quality red rubber stamp, right? And you can also get these foam mounted or if you don't want the foam and you just want red rubber stamps, you can get them that way too. So for my project today, I am going to make a card with a vellum overlay. And the stamp I chose to use is Baby Gorillas and Poses. That's the name of the stamp. I will also have that down below. And I'm going to do a vellum overlay card and that's just a piece of vellum and it's cut five and a half by four and a quarter and I'm putting a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back so I can uh, put that in my stamping tool so it won't wiggle around. And then I'm going to take my stamp and put it on the vellum and when you stamp on vellum you need to use a permanent ink. So I'm going to use um, black stays on ink and I'm just going to stamp this a couple of times until I get the, the nice dark impression that I want. And once I get that stamp nice and dark just the way I want it, I'm going to put it aside and let it dry for a little bit so it doesn't smear. And I have a piece of uh, light olive green cardstock and that's five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to use a die and I'm going to cut uh, some uh, a leaf overlay and that's by Fun Stampers Journey and it's called Layered Leaves. And I'm going to use some green pattern paper and I cut that out. I use that die to cut out that leaf overlay. And then I'm going to glue this onto that uh, card front. And I'm using some Zig uh, two-way uh, glue because uh, this goes on nice and thin and it's good for uh, delicate dies like this, you know, the real skinny dies. I mean, this, this you know, die cut isn't too delicate but it's delicate enough that uh, I want it to use uh, a nice, uh, what would you say, thin glue. That's the word I'm looking for, a nice thin glue. So I'm going to put that all over that uh, overlay, that leaf overlay, and then I'm going to glue it onto that uh, card uh, front. And once I get that glued onto the card front, I am going to take that piece of vellum that I stamped the baby gorillas on and I'm going to put that over the leaves. And now I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to do some real stitching around the edges. And here I am at my sewing machine and I'm just going to use a straight stitch but I'm not going to uh, stitch it nice and straight. I want it to be kind of curvy. So as I'm sewing onto this uh, card uh, front, I am going to just be wiggling the card stock around, the card front around a little bit because I don't want my stitching straight. And if you notice in the beginning, when you're sewing on fabric, you always back stitch when you start and stop. But I'm not doing that here because I it would create too many holes and then uh, the cardstock would rip. So I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make it look uh, like you didn't stop and start the sewing. And here's a little trick I was talking about. I have a regular sewing needle and I'm going to thread that needle and then I'm going to bring those tails to the back of the card. I'm going to poke it through an, a, a hole that's already in the card from me um, stitching it on the sewing machine and I'm going to bring those tails to the back of the card. And once I get those tails to the back of the card, I'm just going to use a little piece of tape to secure them down. 
And now that I got those tails taped down, I want to glue this card front onto a card base. And the card base that I used is just going to be a standard A2 size card base. And there I am taping down the tails. And then I'll trim, you know, some of that thread off. So you don't need all that thread on there. And then I will glue this card front onto an A2 size card base. And that's my card base. And I'll just be using some standard uh, adhesive, dry adhesive for that. And the card is basically done except for the inside. And for the inside, I wanted to use a quote. And this is from Diane Fossey. She's one of the, she was one of the leading pioneers of the gorilla uh, to save the gorillas. And it says, when you realize the value of all life, you dwell less on what is past and concentrate more on the preservation of the future. And that's by Diane Fossey. And I'm just using some dry adhesive and I will glue that right into the inside of the card. And if you haven't seen that movie, Gorillas in the Mist, you should. It's about Diane Fossey and what she did for the gorillas. And uh, Sigourney Weaver uh, plays, uh, plays Diane Fossey in the movie. And this card will also be on the Art Neko blog, and I will link that down below. And I will also link uh, the stamp set I used down below and the Art Neko website down below. And this card will also be featured on my personal blog, and I will have that link down below also. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can just click on my avatar or my profile picture. And I will also have some other interesting videos for you to the left. So thanks for watching. Bye.